If you ever think that the economy of an empire or a country can withstand the test of time forever, you might really want to rethink that. It was estimated that for the past 200 years, there have been around 300 empires and countries that faced numerous unimaginable challenges, resulting in the fall of their economies. With potentially Ukraine being the next victim due to the ongoing war with Russia, or maybe even China and the US due to their astronomical debt. Economics, often referred to as the intricate web governing our financial lives, presents an enduring quest for societies across the globe. As the saying goes, money is not everything, but without money, everything is nothing. The notion of an everlasting, flourishing economy may seem enticing, yet it is a complex puzzle with numerous challenges to navigate and almost impossible to achieve. As we embark on this exploration, we delve into the complex factors that prevent continuous economic growth while at the same time aiming to understand the hurdles and complexities that lie on the path to economic sustainability. Closing highs so far for the day. Blasting through a ceiling. In a record-setting IPO. Investors who have been riding the wave. Throughout history, economies have gone through ups and downs, like seasons changing throughout the year. These cycles shape how well the economy is doing. When things are going great, more goods are produced, more people have jobs, and people are spending more money. Then there are times of contraction, when the economy struggles. During these times, economic activity slows down, jobs are lost, and industries suffer. Every civilization and modern country have experienced these cycles because they are a natural part of economic life. From ancient times, like the powerful Roman Empire, to today's countries such as the United States, Europe, and emerging markets, all have faced these economic ups and downs. These cycles leave a lasting impact on societies and shape their development. By understanding these challenges and learning from the past, we can find ways to build a stronger and more sustainable economic future. It gives us valuable insights to create a foundation for prosperity for generations to come. One such example is the Great Depression that happened in the late 1920s and lasted through the 1930s. It was like a huge economic storm that hit the world. The stock market crash in 1929 caused a serious downturn. Many people lost their jobs, banks failed, riots happened, and industries suffered. It took a lot of effort from the government, like the New Deal in the United States, to help the economy recover and get back on track, even though it was partially the government's fault. Be sure to check out our video on the Great Depression at the top right to know the full story. Understanding these cycles helps us prepare for the ups and downs of the economy. It's like knowing exactly when to bring an umbrella for rainy days. By learning from history, better decisions and actions can be taken to navigate through challenging times and build a stronger economy. In more recent times, the 2008 mortgage financial crisis serves as yet another stark example of the impact of business cycles. The 2008 mortgage crisis unfolded as a severe recession impacting not only the United States, but also sending shockwaves across the globe. Stock markets plummeted, unemployment soared, and consumer spending contracted. In the wake of the crisis, governments and central banks took swift action, implementing massive stimulus packages and interventions to stabilize the financial system. Unfortunately, 
these actions unintentionally set off a chain of events that had a lasting impact on the true idea of a sustainable economy. To know the full story, you can refer to the video on the top right. While it may be challenging to completely eliminate business cycles, understanding their dynamics and implementing appropriate measures can help soften their impact on economies. By closely monitoring economic indicators, anticipating shifts in consumer and investor sentiment, while implementing counter-cyclical policies to promote a stable and sustainable economic growth over the long term. Sustaining a country's economic growth is intrinsically tied to the availability and utilization of resources. However, Earth's resources are finite, and as economies expand, the strain on these resources becomes increasingly obvious. This poses a significant challenge to the goal of propelling economic growth in the long run. Throughout history, civilizations have grappled with the consequences of resource scarcity. One noteworthy example is the collapse of the Mesopotamian civilizations in ancient history about 4,000 years ago. This region, known as the Cradle of Civilization, experienced significant environmental degradation due to harsh and unpredictable climates. The depletion of fertile soil and the drying up of rivers had a devastating impact on agricultural productivity, leading to the decline and eventual collapse of these far advanced societies. In more recent times, the dependency on non-renewable resources, particularly fossil fuels, has raised concerns about long-term economic sustainability. The oil crises of the 1970s serves as a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities associated with heavy reliance on finite resources. When political conflicts and disruptions in the Middle East resulted in a significant reduction in oil supplies, countries heavily reliant on oil, such as the United States and European nations, faced economic turmoil. Soaring oil prices, fuel shortages, and inflationary pressures impacted various sectors of the economy, highlighting the fragility of resource dependence. The same can also be said for the impact felt by many European nations now due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Today, the challenges of resource scarcity and sustainability persist. The rapid industrialization and urbanization of emerging economies, such as China and India, place immense pressure on natural resources. Demand for minerals, metals, and energy resources continues to rise, exacerbating concerns about their depletion and environmental impact. In order to tackle these challenges, a fundamental shift towards sustainable resource management is essential. This involves promoting renewable energy sources, improving resource efficiency, and embracing circular economy principles that minimize waste and maximize resource utilization. Additionally, fostering innovation and investing in research and development would also lead to the discovery of alternative materials and technologies that would reduce resource dependencies. By acknowledging the limits of finite resources and adopting strategies for sustainable resource management, Economies can work towards decoupling economic growth from resource consumption. Technological progress has long been a driving force behind economic growth and transformation. Innovations and advancements in technology have the potential to revolutionize industries, boost productivity, and also create new avenues for economic development. However, technological advances also bring about challenges and disruptions that need to be navigated to sustain economic growth effectively. The Industrial Revolution, which emerged in the 18th century, stands as a landmark event. It saw the transition from hand production methods to mechanization and the development of factories. 
This transformation led to significant changes in manufacturing, agriculture and transportation, propelling economic growth, urbanization and societal shifts, while at the same time causing many people's jobs to be replaced. In the modern era, the rapid pace of technological advancement continues to impact economies. The rise of automation, artificial intelligence, and digital technologies has the potential to revolutionize industries and labor markets. Automation, for example, has the capacity to streamline production processes and improve efficiency. However, it also raises concerns about job displacement, as tasks previously performed by humans become automated resulting in the fear of technological unemployment and growing income inequality becoming more pronounced. Be sure to also check out our video about technological unemployment by clicking on the top right. The advent of e-commerce and digital platforms has disrupted traditional business models and altered consumer behavior. Online retail giants like Amazon have transformed the retail landscape, challenging physical stores. The sharing economy, exemplified by companies like Uber and Airbnb, has created new opportunities for income generation, but it's also raised regulatory concerns and disrupted established industries such as the taxicab industry. Managing the impact of technological advances on the workforce is a critical consideration. While certain jobs may become obsolete, new roles and industries will emerge, requiring different skill sets. Adapting to these changes necessitates investing in education and lifelong learning programs to upskill or reskill the workforce. Addressing the potential societal consequences of technological advances is also paramount. Income inequality may widen if the benefits of technological progress are not equitably distributed. Policymakers must ensure that the gains from technological advancements are shared broadly through inclusive policies and measures. It is essential to strike a balance between fostering innovation and technological progress while also considering the ethical and social implications that arise to maintain a sustainable economical growth. Unforeseen and disruptive events that can have a profound impact on economic stability and growth. These shocks can arise from various sources, including natural disasters, geopolitical conflicts, as well as pandemics. Navigating through these shocks poses significant challenges for sustaining economic growth. The Pompeii disaster, one of the most devastating volcanic eruptions in history, stands as a prominent example. In 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted, burying the ancient city of Pompeii under a thick layer of ash and volcanic debris. The eruption had a catastrophic impact on the local economy as well as the population. The city's infrastructure was destroyed, businesses were wiped out, and agricultural lands were buried. This disaster resulted in a significant loss of lives and livelihoods, creating a ripple effect on surrounding communities and the broader region. The Pompeii disaster serves as a poignant reminder of how external shocks, such as natural disasters, can have far-reaching implications on economies and societies. It underscores the importance of preparedness, resilience, and community support in the face of unforeseen calamities. Despite the efforts from the Roman army to provide relief and support, Pompeii never fully recovered, leaving behind an enduring legacy on the fragility of the human civilization in the face of nature's wrath. More recently, the COVID-19 pandemic has also unleashed an external shock of unprecedented magnitude. The global spread of the virus prompted governments to implement strict lockdowns, resulting in a severe disruption to businesses, travel, and daily life. 
The pandemic-induced economic recession has impacted industries such as tourism, hospitality, and aviation, leading to widespread job losses, supply chain disruptions, and a contraction in global trade. Even with the implementation of measures to mitigate their impact, some external shocks can scar a country's economy irreversibly, leaving a lasting damage that simply cannot be undone. International cooperation and coordination also plays a crucial role in managing these shocks, but the damage inflicted may persist despite collaborative effort. Policymakers may employ fiscal stimulus packages, monetary easing, and financial sector interventions, but the effects of certain shocks can have long-term consequences affecting the economy for years or even decades to come. In the next installment of this topic, we will continue our exploration of the challenges that hinder the perpetuity of economic growth. Taking China and Japan as examples, we will dive into crucial aspects that shape economies and the complexities that lie on the path to economic sustainability. Stay tuned and have a great day!